All right, in today's Neighborhood Eats, we are getting ready for National Fried Chicken Day. It's coming up actually on Friday. To mark the occasion, Sherry is in the kitchen with a chef who knows how to make the southern staple <laughs> better than anybody. Sherry, good morning. I hear he has a special celebration yes. in store. What's going on? Oh, Lisa, Russ, good morning. Happy Monday. This is how I like to start my Mondays. Neighborhood Eats is all about fried chicken today. National Fried Chicken Day is Friday. We are at Lucille's. Lucille's is one of Houston's best southern restaurants. It's Zagat. I never know how to say it. Zagat. That's how we say it in Texas. Rated. Anyway, it means it's one of the best restaurants in town. Come on over, Chef Chris Williams, because this is how he's doing it. First of all, y'all should know, Chris has broken ribs. <laughs> <laughs> that, I got it from here, honey. I've had broken ribs. I know what that feels like. Uh, he had a slip and fall. He fell and he couldn't get up. Have a right seat, here. my dear. I feel bad. He's been slaving in the kitchen. Uh, National Fried Chicken Day. This is how you're celebrating it. Yeah, yeah. Three kinds of fried chicken. Right. So what we're doing is um, we thought we'd have some fun and do three different variations. So one is uh, a take on that Nashville hot chicken. So it's chicken. Is that this gonna, one? Yeah. So we're going to have a spicy brine on it, and then we're going to toss it in our own Lucille's hot sauce with a little bit of oil so it permeates mm. the chicken all mm. the way through. Mm. And then we have a Thai-inspired chicken, which is going to be brined in lemongrass and coconut milk, then topped off with lemon zest, Korean pepper, green onions, and ginger. And then we have my father's recipe of fried chicken, which is uh, a mustard that. and jalapeno batter chicken. It was famous in our house growing up. I love that. And now we're sharing it with everybody else. So. But he said his mama can't cook. His mom is the principal, the headmistress at Imani School. Founder and director of the Imani School. That's a better title. Thank but, but, you. But she can boil water, though. <laughs> she, but she can boil though. water. Yeah. Uh, the reason he knows how to do all this stuff is because he's so international. He just got back from Eastern Europe. The U.S. Embassy flew him over there as an American ambassador to do a little cultural food exchange. I'm going to get to the chicken, but i got to taste your collard greens Go because I judge all chefs by stuff like their collard okay. greens because it doesn't get more southern than that. What's this on top? That's a bourbon quick pickle. So it's a, a, you know, a, our take on a classic mm. uh, accoutrement for collard greens. So we take bourbon, we make a pickling liquid, and then we do it with cucumbers, peppers that we grow in the garden, and red onions. It's meant to be a nice little compliment. Makes the greens. Oh pop. my gosh, that's so good. Lucille's yeah. everybody. Friday, this is what they're gonna do. Fifty dollars gets you a big plate of chicken and five sides and his mom's, not uh, his mom's, grandma's. My great rolls. grandmother, and it's unlimited sides for two hours. We'll also have a live music, uh, live performance throughout the service. So please come out. And check It'll it be out. the place to be if you're gonna celebrate National Fried Chicken Day. And by gosh, who isn't? I can't get to the chicken because the collard greens are so good. <laughs> Back to y'all. Mmm. <laughs> Put your foot oh, in it. An impressive spread right <laughs> now. Put your foot in it. The food looks amazing. The music is great. We're listening to I'm Every Woman <laughs> simultaneously. I found out quickly upon arriving in Houston why Lou Zeal's is known for its fried chicken. Uh -huh. It's delicious oh, sure. out yes. there. Can't wait. Uh, 626 is our time this morning. We're talking about the